Welcome back, everyone. Today we're talking about a interesting topic that uh, at one point uh, might have happened, but uh, luckily for us, you know, spoiler alert, uh, it didn't happen if you've seen the movies. Um, but the Lord of the Rings producers asked and pressured Peter Jackson to kill off a hobbit. Um, what do you think about that? Because you didn't know this. No, I didn't know it. I, I, I mean, I need to read, hear more about the article to, to know what I think. But uh, I mean, that would be deviating from canon. So. It, it would be. It would be. And so it's, it's unclear if uh, maybe the Tolkien estate would step in as well. But yes, so uh, they had, they had killed off um, uh, Gandalf, but then brought him back later, and they had uh, uh, kill, killed off Boromir, but that had happened in earlier movies and they're like, we need, we need more stakes and we need, um, you know, more risk and more stuff like that in these other movies. So we need to kill off one of the main characters. Um, and we want it to be a Hobbit, uh, because those ones have a lot of, um, just emotion tied to them. Like they've been in it from the beginning, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean Peter Peter did not want to do that. <laughs> um and so they talk about who it would have been. So I'm not sure if you've read the whole article yet. Who do you think it was going to be? You could you could do Mary after he kills the witch king maybe. Oh, that's that's interesting. Yeah, you're right. Um do you, do you think they could do Frodo? They could do Frodo too. You think Frodo? You think they could have killed Frodo? Like if like just picture that movie and and like how it yeah, would... if he died right at the end. Oh, I see. Like... Right at the end. So I no, I think they wanted it to happen. I mean, I don't know if they talk about it in this article. They um, want to do it kind of during the story. Yeah. Hmm. Like to to like like to build to like a final like big you know emotional plunge before before they save the day or, or win the fight or whatever um no frodo needs to be in, in the last scene but, yeah uh well it'd have to be either mary or pippin yeah can't so take out the <laughs> that that's that's what um that's what uh boyd and and dominic say uh is that it can't be frodo or sam oh, well and, and they need mary to to take out the witch king so i guess or, sorry yeah they need yeah. Mary to take out the witch king so i guess it would be pippin yeah so that's they they around. agree that they think it's going to be pippin not only because of what you just said which is true um but because pippin actually has this interesting relationship with gandalf right like early on we see gandalf kind of like treating them like children um like back when they're like lighting fireworks off and as it goes on Gandalf seems to um, be a bit more uh, stern with Pippin than he is with other hobbits. <clears throat> and then he does take Pippin uh, to Minas Tirith. And so Gandalf and Pippin kind of get really closely linked throughout this entire story. And so for Gandalf to lose Pippin would be um, pretty difficult for Gandalf. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be emotional. So I, I think that's where they were going with. That's where Mary. That's where um, Mary Pippin. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I mean, I'm just thinking, but like, it, maybe the Witch King could kill Pippin, like when, remember the, yeah. when uh, Gandalf has a confrontation with the Witch King, he has Pippin with him, right? Uh, I think. I think so. Either either Pippin's there or Pippin is coming there to get Gandalf to come, get him to help him. Uh, save Faramir. But if you have the Witch King kill Pippin, then it'll be like, Mary avenged him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And it'd be like, almost unknowing. He might do it unknowingly, which would be kind of um, you know, poetic uh, yeah. in a way. I, I actually kind of liked your idea of Mary um, dying, like sacrificing himself either like, unknowingly or knowingly to kill the the witch king if, if you're gonna i don't want any hobbit let me let me just say for the viewers i don't want any hobbits to die but if you're forced to like say these guys are like fine you're not making lord of the rings and peter jackson had to pick one i actually i think there's a strong 
uh, uh, thing to be had there where you could have Mary die uh, from his wounds there. Um, mm -hmm. Where it's like, you know, you did everything right. We killed the Witch King. And yet we still, like, Mary still dies. And it's through that sacrifice that they're, evil, they're even able to to win that battle. Um, but I don't want it to happen. I don't want any hobbits to die. I like all the hobbits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yeah I think I it's... Mean, you're, you're deviating from the story too much. Really. Yeah, I, I think the hobbits... Die, I mean, if you've read the books, for sure none of the hobbits can die if you're going to follow the books to a T because of the role they play when they go back to the Shire. But if, if you were forced to do it in the movie, I think it's definitely, I think um, these guys are right. It's, it's between Mary and Pippin. I actually really like the emotional pull with Pippin. Pippin gets the most lines directed at him of the two, I would think um, from, from Gandalf and from others. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he is he is also the at least in the movies he's the more silly one so for him to die i think um for his character to become from go from like a jokester to this emotional like pit um would be pretty uh, powerful especially i think it would definitely affect gandalf too um but yeah i i i think that's interesting i i you know, I knew that this was a thing. Um, this has been talked about before, um, but it's kind of interesting to think about that conversation and like, like the fact that the the producers don't seem to even care. They're just like, "Hey, kill off one of these hobbits. We, we don't we don't care. Whichever one you want." <laughs> these producers are not Lord of the Rings fans. That's for sure. <laughs> long as it's not bill the pony it doesn't matter which one to kill <laughs> um and then also just uh real quick uh the at the end of this article they talk about one of the most difficult scenes to film and i think we all guessed which one that is that's the big goodbye at the end mm -hmm. um that that one yeah uh that that scene i mean it's not it is not my most emotional scene it's pretty close to it though yep and uh yeah i think like because of because of the context of everything that they've been through and 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 the fact that not only the actors but the characters like everything coming together into this big swell right there um i guess it's nice for us fans to know that Sam gets to go if he wants. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of sad that, that Mary and Pippin have no chance of ever seeing um, Frodo again after that. Yeah. 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 It, it, and, you know, it. it's kind of like, it. it's a nice full circle. It starts off with just um frodo and sam and then they run into mary pippin and so that's almost kind of how it ends in a way where it goes back down to just the four of them and then sam well frodo leaves and then sam is allowed to follow if he wants kind he of stays with his family he stays with his family at first it's un we, i guess we don't know what happens to sam um in his old age um, are you allowed to go back and forth like, i i sam i don't think so i mean maybe I, I know. I'm going on a summer trip, summer <laughs> vacation to the Undying Lands. See it, see it, see you in August. Yeah, <laughs> Rosie, you it, look after it. the kids. I'll be back. I'm gonna go hang out with Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> see you in a year. <laughs> I don't think it's. I think it's more of like a um, once you start feeling the effects or something like that, you can you go with wanna, them. Maybe you won't want to go back. I yeah. Don't know. I think that's sort of what it's more about. I don't think it's like a little vacation home or something. <laughs> uh, where's your cottage located? <laughs> Ooh, wait, we got a little place in the Undying Lands. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I, I like that these, like, uh, um, uh, Boyd and Monaghan, they talk about this kind of stuff on their podcast, The Friendship Onion, which is a really fun podcast. Um, I 
I really enjoy it. They have a lot of fun antics and they, they, they talk a lot about their time on, on, uh, on Lord of the Rings and, and what that was like. Cause like filming that, those three movies, the way that they did, like it's, it's a big feat for people to do, um, like to, to take a large chunk of their life and, and dedicate it to that. And it's, uh, fun just to hear the stories behind the scenes and uh yeah so i recommend it um and you get kind of fun little bits of trivia like this but yeah i think that's it for this one unless you have any more uh to add here Leg- legless could have hopped on that boat too and then yes. they could they, they could have had legless and frodo say something to each other <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's the uh, deleted scene. <laughs> Legless doesn't give up. He doesn't care about these hobbits at all. <laughs> he's only going. He's only going to hang out with Gimli. That's it. He's not. He doesn't. Not, he doesn't care about these hobbits. <laughs> yeah, that would be. Uh, that would be a fun little little. <laughs> It's funny too because there's a lot of scenes that he could have. Like there's a lot of those like reunion scenes or like like just you know in in Rivendell th- there's a lot of moments he could say something and uh doesn't. It's kind of funny. <laughs> and now it's a thing that people have picked up on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess uh, that's a good way to go out. So yeah, let let us know. Um, you know, hey, did you guys know about this uh, little bit of trivia? And if so, if you had to pick, uh, which Hobbit would you kill off, and why, and where? Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.